Caroline Lucas is the most recognisable face from the Green Party of England and Wales. While she hasn't held a leadership position since 2018, as the party's sole MP, Caroline Lucas remains the person many people would most readily associate with the Greens. But despite being in the public eye for decades, there are still plenty of things we bet that you didn't know about her. With that in mind, I'm Chris from Bright Green and here are 10 things you didn't know about Caroline Lucas. Number 1. She was the first woman elected as an MP in Brighton. Caroline Lucas is well known as being the first ever Green MP in the UK. Naturally then, she was also the first Green MP to be elected in Brighton Pavilion. Her election also marked another first for the city. She became the first woman to be elected as an MP in Brighton. Neighbouring Hove elected Celia Barlow in 2005, but neither the Brighton Pavilion or Brighton Kemp Town constituencies elected a woman until the former elected Caroline Lucas. She remains the only woman to have represented a Brighton constituency to this day. Number two. She has the biggest majority of any MP for Brighton Pavilion ever. Caroline Lucas has broken other records in her constituency too. With her vote share increasing at every general election since she was first elected, she now sits on a majority of 19,940. That huge majority is the largest of any MP for Brighton Pavilion ever, clocking in at almost 4,000 more than the second largest majority, which was held by the Conservative William Teeling when he held the seat in the 1959 general election. Number three. Brighton Pavilion wasn't the first parliamentary constituency she stood in. Many MPs don't win a parliamentary seat at their first attempt, and Caroline Lucas is no different. She stood in a general election once before she was successful in winning Brighton Pavilion for the Green Party. In the 1992 general election, she stood in Oxford East, where she lived at the time, coming fourth and receiving 2% of the vote. Number four. She was the first Green councillor elected in Oxford. So Caroline Lucas didn't just stand in parliamentary elections when she lived in Oxford, she also stood in the 1993 elections to Oxfordshire County Council. She had more success there than she did in the previous year's general election, winning in the Oxford Central Division. In doing so, she became the first ever Green Council in Oxford. Number five. She was an MEP for 11 years before getting elected to the House of Commons. Following the end of her single term as a councillor, Caroline Lucas would head for higher office. In 1999, she stood as a candidate for the South East region in that year's European Parliament elections. 1999 was the first year that the elections were being held under a proportional system and therefore were the first in which the Green Party won electoral representation in the Parliament, with Caroline Lucas being one of the two Greens elected from the UK alongside Jean Lambert in London. Lucas would go on to be re-elected in 2004 and 2009. In 2010, though, she was forced to stand down from her seat as she had been elected to the House of Commons and the European Union prohibits MEPs holding dual mandates with another elected body. In total, Lucas served for 11 years in Brussels, ultimately handing over to Keith Taylor in 2010. Number six, she's the longest serving leader the Green Party ever had. Caroline Lucas was the Green Party's first ever leader, being elected to the newly created role in 2008. She initially served for four years in the post before deciding not to stand for re-election and handing over to her successor, Natalie Bennett, in 2012. Four years later, she would be back in the running for the leadership, standing on a joint ticket with Jonathan Bartley. She would win that election, becoming co-leader and serving one two-year term. That brings her total time of leadership to six years. Lucas therefore surpassed her one-time co-leader Jonathan Bartley for the longest serving leader. He managed five years before his resignation in 2021. Natalie Bennett is next, having served four years. Sean Berry comes fourth with three years. And Adrian Ramsey and Carla Denyer are currently the shortest lived, having been in post for a year and a half at the time of recording. Number seven, she worked at Oxfam for 10 years. Prior to her rise to public prominence in her Green Party roles, Caroline Lucas spent a decade working for the Oxford-based international development charity Oxfam. Starting in 1989, Lucas initially worked as a press officer for the charity before moving to become a policy advisor on trade and investment. In 1999, she would leave Oxfam upon her election as an MEP. Number eight, she has won more than a dozen awards for her work in politics. Caroline Lucas's work as a Green Party MP and MEP has received substantial recognition from NGOs, media outlets and research groups. Here's a small sample of them. In 2006, she was given the Michael Kay Award by the RSPCA for her outstanding contribution to European animal welfare. She was a three-time winner of the Observer's Politician of the Year Award as part of the newspaper's Ethical Awards. In 2010, The Independent named her the Best UK Politician in their Green Awards, and in the same year, The Spectator gave her the Newcomer of the Year Award in that magazine's Parliamentarian of the Year Awards. In 2011, she received the MP of the Year Award and the Women in Public Life Awards. The following year, she was named the most influential MP by the Political Studies Association, and that's just a small flavour of it. In total, Caroline Lucas has won more than a dozen awards for her time in politics and campaigning. Number nine, she's been arrested more than once campaigning for peace and climate justice. 
Caroline Lucas may now spend most of her time trying to make change in the stuffy corridors of Westminster, but she has also been known to put her body and her liberty on the line in fighting for the causes she believes in. As such, she's been arrested on more than one occasion as part of campaigns for peace and climate justice. In 2007, Lucas was arrested for protesting against nuclear weapons at the Fastlane nuclear base in Scotland, and six years later, Lucas was again arrested. This time she was charged with obstructing a public highway at an anti-fracking protest in Balkham in Sussex. She was later found not guilty. And number 10, she's an expert in Elizabethan romance. Sometimes you'll see the Greens' first MP referred to as Dr Caroline Lucas. That's because she has a PhD from the University of Exeter, which she completed in 1989. The title of her thesis was Writing for Women, Woman as a Reader in Elizabethan Romance. And that's our list. Know any more facts and trivia about Caroline Lucas? Leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I've been Chris from Bright Green and I'll see you all very, very soon.